Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video we are going to introduce and test the IMAX B3 Pro 2 and 3 cell battery charger. So this can charge 2 or 3 cell battery and uh, there are 3 lights here for cell 1, 2 and 3. So uh, the maximum current that this can supply is 700 mA for each cell. So it has 3 times 7 so if you're charging uh, a 2200 mAh LiPo battery like this, it might take about an hour. And depending, if you put larger battery, 5000, then you have to divide it. So let me show you here. So uh, let's say you have 5200 mAh, 3 cell. If it's 3 cell divided by 3, each cell is 1733. So this can supply 700, so divided by 700, and it will take 2.47, almost two and a half hours. So remember that, because this is very cheap um, light battery charger, this can cannot supply much current. So let me connect it to the power. Once you connect this to the power, the lights are green here. But it's quickly flashing red. Let me okay, so you see, this is now, the red is flashing, it just checks each cell to see if there is a connection. As soon as it finds a connection, it goes and starts charging. But if the voltage of the each cell is too low, uh, with a certain threshold, let's say 3.1 or something, I, I don't know how this one is set, so this will always blink and it will not detect your battery as if the battery is not connected because if you drain your battery fully you've be, uh, already damaged it so you see when I connect it it starts charging so the blink on these chargers are different for example I have another charger that blinks very very faster I don't know if, if you notice You see the blinks, blinking lights check each cell when it's connected. So if it, uh, when a cell is found, the charge starts. But uh, let, let's pay attention here. I have one battery that's already full, so fully charged. So I'm connecting this with my battery tester. All It's 12.2 volts. So each cell is almost 4 volts, 4.04, cell 2. 4.05 and 3 is 4.12 so that is more than 4 volts or around 4 each so if I connect this I'll just pay attention to the mm, quick red blink as I can see it here so so this is fully charged for that reason it does not detect the charge for the uh, does not send current Okay, so now if I disconnect it, again the blinking starts. Now, let me check this other battery which is slightly used. Okay, this is all is 11.8 volts, so 3.9, this is also much, but much better, but it's 11.8, so that one was 12.2. Let me connect this. When you connect this battery, all these lights will be red and then it will charge. Depending on the amount of charge and the status of each cell, it might turn off at this different time. They might turn off all together or one of them earlier than the other one. Okay, so here I have a battery that is, one of the cell is fully charged. So, as you can see, the cell one is fully charged, the two are not, so this will charge and once it's full, all of them will turn off. And the other battery, which is fully charged, if I connect it, all of them are green, as you can see. This was testing the IMAX RC B3 Pro uh, LiPo charger. If you like this video, please thumb up. And also, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now. Thank you very much.